both stop and search polarise or protect our society? Um, I think that's an excellent question. I think it's a very timely question and I think it's very important that we're asking that question. Um, the answer, I think, uh, depends entirely on how it is being used and if we can also repair that fractured relationship between the police and uh, particularly the black community. So I think it's really important that we do acknowledge problems where they do exist. And what I think there's really a need to recognize is that there's rightful anger in some communities based on a very long and difficult history with the police. So that anger is not the result of an isolated incident. Um, it's valid and it needs to be acknowledged. I don't know if you're aware or if you've seen this before. I think Dawn Butler, Labour MP, was stopped by police on the 163. Uh, so I just wanted to know what your thoughts regarding the situation. And I think it's also uh, something that she said, which Dawn Butler, an MP, has accused the police of racially profiling and called for a system change after being stopped in the car by police officers. Yeah. Um, so obviously, I can't comment on what happened in an individual case, especially one where I wasn't present. But I do think that an accusation like this needs to be taken very seriously and it needs to be looked into, which I believe it is, and that is the right thing to do. Obviously, if race was an element here, then this is clearly wrong and completely unacceptable. Um, I think another important thing that we're seeing from this case is the, the level of distress, um, I think, shows um, the the strained relationship, how strained the relationship is between the police and the black community and how deep that lack of trust is. And I think the uh, the response and the reaction to this case um, show this as well. Section 60, usually a power that is used whenever like a violent incident occurs in an area and it's authorised. Uh, what are your thoughts regarding this power? Yeah, so uh, Section 60 of the Criminal Justice and Public Order Act 1994, like you say, allows police officers to stop and search anyone in a specific area during a, a specific time without needing to have reasonable grounds. It needs to have been authorised by a senior officer. My personal view is um, that if it's used correct, correctly, it's a very important tactical tool. But again, it's a tool. Um, and a tool can be used productively or destructively. So like stop and search, it's really important how it is being used, but also what is important is the perception of those at the receiving end. In announcing government plans to extend stop and search powers, Home Secretary Pritz Patel claimed that stop and search works. And this was from a full article in 2019. What are your thoughts regarding this and how could this affect us possibly when we join? As the new generation of police officers, we think that you have a vital role to play in the transformation that is happening with policing at the moment. And therefore, a policing degree not only provides students with the relevant legal knowledge, but it also introduces them to key psychological concepts uh, related to human behaviour and to decision making. So we're looking at relevant elements of sociology, criminology and psychology, for example. So what that does is it allows our students to understand and analyze psychological mechanisms that can lead to bias, that can lead to stereotyping, um, discrimination, abuse of power. And students will be able to apply those skills to examine their own decision making process. And what that will do um, is it will enhance reflective ability and facilitate a professional approach. In addition, our students also learn about the history of the police so that they are able to understand the socio-cultural context um, and the, uh, the difficult rela relationship and why it does exist with regards to the police in some communities. Because it's my firm belief that if you want to change something, you need to first understand it. Um, so we believe it's absolutely vital that students get all of that information and we want policing to be a profession uh, that is available to everyone um, and we think that particularly our students have a big role to play in terms of bringing policing into the 21st century and making it representative.